As you heard us briefly mention earlier in the show, a new poll from the Marquette Law School shows former President Donald Trump is still the top choice among Republican voters. The poll asked registered Republicans about which GOP candidate they support. 46% said Trump. That number held steady from the last poll in May. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was the clear second choice at 22%, which is down from 25% in May. No other GOP candidate was close to those two. The Marquette poll also asked registered voters about potential 2024 matchups. The results showed it even split in a rematch between President Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Each came in at 50%. Voters favored Ron DeSantis in a potential matchup against Biden. The poll's margin of error among registered voters was about four percentage points. Trump and DeSantis both meet the polling requirements to appear in next month's presidential debate. In all, seven candidates have qualified so far. They include Mike Pence, Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, and Chris Christie. One of the requirements is each candidate must have registered at least 1% in at least two qualifying national polls and two qualifying polls from more than one state. The Republican National Committee set the rules for debate eligibility. Seven other GOP candidates are running for president. At this point, it's unclear if they'll qualify by the time the debate is held August 23rd in Milwaukee. And Milwaukee continues to be a focal point ahead of the 2024 election. We're now less than a year out from the Republican National Convention happening July 15th through the 18th at Pfizer Forum. And joining me now is Elise Dickens. She is the CEO of the 2024 convention. Elise, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, Elise, it was just announced that you are CEO yes. of the convention in June. Yes. And so you lead the Republican National Committee's efforts at the convention. How does your work actually differ from the 2024 Milwaukee host committee? That is a great question. So you can kind of picture it that the uh, Committee on Arrangements, the RNC side of things, focuses on political. Uh, and actually the show and bringing everybody together and all of the stakeholders and ultimately making the big decisions of what goes on in the Pfizer Forum and additionally in the Baird Center and surrounding areas. The host committee uh, is non-political. They're here to feature the state, the city, and raise the funds necessary to put on the convention. So we work hand in hand, we're wonderful partners, uh, and they help guide us in the right direction, navigate some things, uh, but at the end of the day, it is a political convention. So the RNC uh, is in charge of kind of the contracting process and making sure that the show goes on. So the show is going on in Wisconsin. You're originally from Beloit, so you have probably a bit of a soft spot for the Badger State, right? I sure do. So I was born in Beloit, Wisconsin, but I um, went to school and graduated from Baraboo High School. So I am, and I went to college in Wisconsin. So this is just a huge honor to be doing this in my home state. Um, and so it's very personal to me uh, beyond kind of the professional expectations. So I'm really excited and, and really honored that Chairwoman McDaniel tasked me with this incredible responsibility. And so how does your connections to Wisconsin play into the planning process with it being in Milwaukee. Is there anything special that you've been doing because you have this love for the state? I think it's made the community engagement piece more fun and exciting for me. Um, we're very committed to making sure we build great relationships and great partnerships all across the state, not just in Milwaukee. Uh, but it's been easier when I go into places like Madison and say, I'm from here. We are going to contract hotels here. Uh, knowing who some of the players are, politically and non-politically, has made a huge difference. And I think it has been very well received in the state uh, that a local Wisconsinite, uh, one of their own, is helping lead the convention. Uh, so the convention is expected to bring in millions of dollars to the city and the state. And right now the convention and the committee are accepting signups for consideration of possible convention-related business. How does that differ between the two? They're both accepting applications and signups, but it's dip for different reasons. Yes. So we expect the economic impact to be upwards of 200 million between direct spend and then also all the groups kind of coming in and the long-term impact. So it's a significant amount of money that's going to be coming to this state. Uh, the host committee and the RNC contract some things together. So the host committee will contract some things, but we are a benefici beneficiary of every single contract. Additionally, the RNC will have some of our own contracts, specifically if it's political in nature. So for example, this week we actually awarded our first contract, the RNC did, to a local business. Um, and we were really excited to do so. Uh, we bid it out, there was 21 bids, um, and it's to, to do our first order of the official convention merchandise. 
uh, but a local Milwaukee business won. It was the best bid. It was it was a great competitive price. Um, so we're really excited that our first major contract is is local. And you said 21 um, bids for that. Were they all for the like specifically for the merchandise? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's right. And then there are opportunities for multiple businesses to be you know uh, bidding for this. Are you accepting bids from across the state? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Okay. So we encourage businesses from all over the state to sign up. The host committee has set up a website um, and on that is a host committee's uh, portal for businesses to go to. So we want all statewide businesses because at the end of the day, there are gonna be a lot of partnerships, right? So there might be a Milwaukee area or a Green Bay or Madison, someone that it might be viewed closer, but they need partnerships because they don't know, oh my gosh, all of a sudden we need 10 lobsters or oh my gosh, we need something that they didn't expect that they're gonna be relying on other people too uh, to help meet kind of some of the demand in those services. But we encourage everybody statewide. We are focusing on statewide not just Milwaukee. So I want to talk candidate now uh, as we go looking ahead to the convention where you pick the presidential nominee for the Republican Party, the delegates do. So right now former President Trump is the clear front runner. I know a lot can change in a year here, but with your expertise as convention CEO, do you think he has a leg up in winning delegates to cinch the nomination? Well, voting starts uh, not until next year, so we'll see. At the end of the day, the RNC has to be neutral. At the convention, we have to be neutral. We're in charge of setting the stage for the eventual nominee that the Republican primary voters choose. So it's really important that the national party stays out of that and stays neutral, because um, it's not up to us, right? Um, so we'll see. Uh, we're excited to have the eventual nominee take place, but in the meantime, we're just putting in all the work necessary to make sure that once we have a nominee, they have the best possible infrastructure that they inherit for the convention. And what work do you put in for planning for opposition to the convention, for example, protests that might happen outside of maybe Fi server in the general area? Sure. We plan for every contingency. Um, so there'll be fantastic coordination between U.S. Secret Service, who was already on the ground in Wisconsin. They were in Milwaukee all this week actually between state and local uh, and city officials. Um, the city with the security grant that they are bidding on with the federal government that both the RNC and DNC get, um, a lot of that is kind of filtered through law enforcement coordination. So we plan for every contingency, um, no matter who the nominee is, to make sure that we have a very safe and secure convention for everybody. And at the convention, do you have an idea of what the messaging might be at this point for Republican voters and those who attend? Yeah, I mean, that'll be up to the nominee, but I, where we're at right now, I imagine it's going to be very focused on the economy. Since Joe Biden took office, price of goods in Wisconsin is up 16 percent, almost 17 percent. Um, and so that's not good for Wisconsin businesses and Wisconsin families. And I imagine that that economic contrast message is going to be highlighted. Joe Biden and the Democrats have a record to run on now. And so we look forward to highlighting how Republicans are much better at handling the economy. Well, Elise, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us this morning. Thanks for having me.